latest Star Trek adventure, Shatner is asked to be the Federation's peace envoy to his old enemy, the Klingons. To offer Klingons a safe haven within Federation space is suicide. They're animals. Jim, they are dying. According to Shatner, Star Trek continues to be popular because it gives hope for the future. And at the same time, it has something to say about today. The best of Star Trek uh, takes its, rips its story from the headlines uh, or from Time Magazine, <laughs> a more editorial sense, and, um, and, and dramatizes that uh, as though it were happening in the future. The story is meant to parallel the end of the Cold War here on Earth and the strained relationship between longtime enemies now trying to become friends. Captain Kirk, I thought Rummy Linnell was illegal. One of the advantages of being a thousand light years from Federation headquarters. That's really the best of science fiction, is taking a, a human theme and just putting it in a different environment. Almost every Star Trek movie has been billed as the last, including this one. Can it be true that Captain Kirk has had his last flight? I believe it is the final Star Trek. Uh, we've all think of it as, uh, we all think of it as the, as the final uh, Star Trek. More importantly, the studio thinks of it as the, as the final Star Trek. Uh, so it is, um, mo uh, most definitely. Star Trek. Thank you very much. In Hollywood, Leonard Nimoy and wife Susan Bay Nimoy helped celebrate the upcoming release of Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, with a special benefit screening for the California League of Conservation Voters. Also welcomed were Star Trek VI cast members Nichelle Nichols, James Doohan, and Walter Koenig. It seems fitting that, that uh, Star Trek tonight should be supporting the California League. We're all trying to do something good for the planet. 